nowadays we can easily sell painting all around the world just by sending a JPEG. At the same time, the social media, the internet is a great is a tool that that artists' names are being marketed as brand names. And at the same time, we do a lot of selling through these art websites, selling, buying through art an art website, and also so the the uh, there are internet auctions. Christie's is doing internet auctions, and also there there are these art art websites are doing internet auctions. So greatly change. This is very interesting. They said the last 16 years, it has been um, increased by 1,200%, the art market. And in 1980s, the top prices is 10 million. Um, in 2000, it's 100 million. In 2015, it's 300 million. So basically, I mean, prices are astronomical because since since in the 2000s, the contemporary market especially become bigger and bigger. There are more people buying contemporary art. Also, it is very fashionable now. I mean, when you sit down, everybody, you know, instead of talking about golf, to talk about contemporary art. The sustainability of the prices would depend on the market growth. And obviously, you know, if a country, um, if the growth rate is low, everybody will get very worried about it. Great artists, especially after they passed away, they have, they have limited artwork. So every year, there's art, there's artists become blue chip. So I think the art market, the art market will be continuously growing because new money coming in, and these new money love art, art for ego or for speculation, and especially art now has become a commodity. So people invest. So obviously, if the art market is big enough, then art, art, the art prices should be sustainable. It will go up and down, though.